EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Eastlake Golf Club, live third-round coverage of the Tour Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. On top, it's Tony Finau. He is playing exceptionally well at 24 under par. Our featured golfer right in it, just a couple of shots off the pace. that a wonderful tee shot it's in the fairway here to get this Saturday started breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway Outstanding strike right there, right off the center of the club face, and a good chance for birdie. Ah, nearly had it, just going to wander a foot or so by. Safely in, it's a par here at first, and he'll remain three shots off the pace. The second hole is a good par three. Elevated green, and you can see there's a large oak tree on the right, couple of green side bunkers, so this requires a solid strike, and if you're on target, you have a chance to make it two here, but it'll take a good shot. Well, that's a sensible shot right there. No need to take on an unnecessary risk. There's nothing wrong with walking away from here with a three. This is a nine-footer. Ah, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And he'll stay at 22 under. Moving to the third hole here at East Lake, 381 yard downhill par four. There is trouble left with those overhanging trees and deep rough. Right center is ideal. That is way right. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Working from the rough. Here's his second at three. Here we go. 
It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still, inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. He's going to move to 23 under par. Next up, the par four fourth, measuring 474 yards. Left center location off the tee is ideal. It's a great driving hole. Well, this par four fourth at 474 yards is a good chance to let that big dog eat, as they say. Full turn here, let it rip. Need a good tee shot. Yeah, good swing and a good result, as that is safely into the fairway. The second shot looming here from right around 165 yards. And that ball looked good in the air. You'd like it to be a little closer, but still, inside 40 feet, just going to have to be careful with the lag putting. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Yeah, I think he's going to be very disappointed that he never gave that a chance to get to the hole. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he's going to stay two back. Arriving now at the 444-yard par four fifth, lined with old oak trees and tall pines. Two-tiered green awaits. But when you get to this 444-yard par four fifth, you, you know you're in Georgia, right? And the old oak trees and the tall pines lining these fairways has a good feel to it. And then it has a two-tiered green, so you need to be on point here. So that ball nestles down in the rough. Just got away a little bit on that tee ball. That one is really long, Frank. He miscalculated there. Well, there has to be something. I mean, from, from where he was, it's just an aberration. Seriously, that little green patch down the end there with a the flag in it, that's where you're meant to go. Not like sailing over yonder. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. And he'll remain at 23 under par. Moving now to perhaps the easiest par 5 at East Lake, 532 yards 6. Reachable in 2. Par here feels like you're losing a stroke to the field, though. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway.
That's it. Two solid shots right there, Frank. Certainly taking advantage of this par five and comfortably on for two. Yeah, you really got to put a charge into it up that slope, and that is fairly well done. From four feet for birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for birdie here at six. And that's going to move him to 24 under par. We come now to the 470-yard par 4-7. Picturesque hole with views of East Lake and the Atlanta skyline. Narrow fairway demanding an accurate tee shot. That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota Begay the third. 155 to the hole. Coming off a birdie on the previous. Looking for two in a row. Excellent shot. I love it when it's the right distance. This one's just a little to the right. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, man, the speed was spot on. A good putt, but nothing to show for it. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's going to stay at minus 24. Now to the eighth here at East Lake. It's 461 yards. The premium here is on accuracy. You want to keep it away from those two fairway bunkers on the right side of that fairway landing area. If you do, you'll have a good approach, good angle to access that hole location. In the fairway. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. I'm not going to rag on the shot. It was a good strike, but look where the flag is. It's in the other side of the green. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll remain one shot back. Well, now we close out this front side with a 218-yard par three ninth, and depending on the conditions, you might see guys with a fairway wood, long iron. Either way, you need to catch this one right in the middle of the club face.
Working back up from below the putting surface, this a second. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Yeah, a sizable putt left. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he's gonna fall to three shots off the lead. So this 10th hole is all about positioning. To par four at 430 yards, be a good chance at birdie if you can drive it down the left side of the fairway. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now from just under 100 yards, he'll stare down his second. And this ball not quite going to be a G-I-R. It'll come to rest on the fringe. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll remain right where he is. 203 yard par three, 11. This one can jump up and bite you. If you miss hit your shot, you're just a little bit offline. And you can walk out of here with a bogey. Okay, that one's dancing. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, it's the break that you've really got to consider here. It will come from right to left. You've got to start it online, and you've got a good chance of getting it close. Mm, yeah, tough to know just how far out to the right to play that one. I mean, that was not far enough. So that rushed in for a par here at 11, and he'll stay right where he is. Now to the par 4 at 12, it's a good hole, it's a short one, just 381 yards, maybe a fairway wood off the tee. It's all about positioning and giving yourself a chance to get at that hole location and get out of here with a birdie.
And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. So after that bomb of a drive, this is second to the par four. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. Speed down the hill, gonna be critical here on this putt for birdie. Just gonna sneak on by. So, a tough hole, and it's in for bogey at 12. And it's gonna be a rare drop shot. Up next, the 431 yard par 413th straight away. Two fairway bunkers on the right, really the only concerns here off the tee. Up next, the 431 yard par 413th straight away. Two fairway bunkers on the right, really the only concerns here off the tee. Well, that was a great tee shot, but when you're that far down there, the fairways get a little narrow. Just finished in the first cut. From just off the fairway, Iona, second shot coming up. 134 yards left to the flagstick today. Pin back right so he can take an aggressive line. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money really to make birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And he will definitely not say no to that. Arriving now at the 535 yard par 4 14th, like the first here at East Lake. This was shortened from par 5 to par 4 with a downslope on the fairway, though it makes it play a little shorter than its yardage. Can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee right down the middle. Ball on a bit of a downslope here as he ponders his second. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Birdie on the last, and likely to give at least one back here.
Well, Frank, you know, it's not ideal, but sometimes psychologically a bogey's not that bad. It would have been easy to come completely off the rails there. So all in all, I'll take a bogey. Safely in. It's a bogey here at 14. And it'll wind up a rare drop shot. We arrive now at one of the most intimidating holes at East Lake Twitter. 33 yard, par 315, water right of the green, and a treacherous bunker left of the green. Accuracy off the tee is critical here. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. A look at birdie here at 15. Just has to get the ball started and it will work back to the right and toward the hole. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, a solid par here at the 15, and he'll remain right where he is. We begin the finishing stretch here at East Lake with a 444-yard par 416. Slight dog leg left. Players must avoid the fairway bunker on the right side to prevent a really challenging approach. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. He split the middle of the street on this one. He's going to have a good look. Second shot. Quite sure that strike, whether they got it all, but ball's just come up a little shy. Outside chance for a birdie. Ah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. Will certainly help the cause. This part 417th is not especially long at 426 yards, but there is that dog leg left with bunkers and trees there to deal with. And then you've got that cross bunker. So you can get yourself in some trouble here. You need to keep it clean, keep it on the short grass, and you have a chance to get out of here with a four. The strategy for the three wood leaves a full iron shot into this green. Put it in a great spot off the tee. Has just 86 yards left for his second shot. See what he can do with this. It might have been perhaps a little conservative, but right in the heart of the green. This one measures out to 15 feet. Yeah, 
such good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Here it is, the 18th at East Lake. Scene of all that FedEx Cup drama through the years and that $15 million payout. You make birdie, maybe even an eagle, and you're walking away with a sizable check. And this a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. That is right where you want this tee shot to end up. That chases down to the bottom of the hill and leaves a good look into this 18th green. Yeah, mission accomplished. On in two. Didn't fly it all the way there, but got enough release in good shape. Mm hmm Okay. I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Not much left here for Birdie. Yeah, it's a Birdie at the last. So for our featured golfer, they're right in striking distance, Frank. Only three shots off the pace through 54 holes. Yeah, it's still a great opportunity, I think, to have a win, Rich. You know, I know it's gonna take a really good, perhaps great round to do it, but you're in contention. Until next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner. This has been a presentation of EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. So long, everybody.